found on Congregate and my name there. And we got music this time. Cool. So, as you remember, I beat the Four Element Hotel chapter last time, so this is Scent's game. Who is Scent? Is Scent the robot guy? If you're new to my channel, well, welcome. What happened to me? The same question repeated itself endly in Ink's head. It had been less than an hour since Ink had woken up the Four Elements Hotel. Since then, he had acquainted with a handful of strangers who, like him, had no idea where they were. To add to the confusion, Ink's phone had been stolen, and its place was a PDA which could only contact his friend and colleague, Sean. The only one who had woken him up was a girl named Aether. Right now, she was doing her best to keep Ink's blood loss to a minimum after a violent episode of sudden hemorrhaging. <clears throat> Enough, I think it's stopped for good. <clears throat> I mean, for now. Phew, how are you feeling then? Oh, I could be worse, considering. Thanks for helping me keep that under control. That kind of bleeding isn't normal, is it? No, I never experienced anything like that in my life. Say, how do I look? Most of the blood landed on the wall or floor, and we've wiped away what was on your face, so you look okay. Got a little bit on your scarf, but you might be able to wash it out. Ink gave his scarf a quick twist, holding it tiny blood stains from view. Cool. Don't mention this to anyone, alright? Well, why not? This could be serious. Seems like the thing that kind of make people panic, you know? So we know what's going on. Let's keep this on the download. But I'll worry about my personal health once I've made it home. Besides, I feel better now. Don't look at me like that, I'll be fine. What makes you so sure? I'm the detective, remember? You can't kill off the detective before he solves any mystery. This isn't a story, Ink. Life's a kind of story, no? Just promise me you'll go for a checkup once we get back to campus. Deal. Let's get out of here, then. It wasn't an act. Ink did feel better. Whatever his affliction was, it had passed. We're in the same room. Won't be able to get medical attention till I get out of here anyway. Grabbing ink by a wrist, Aether dragged him through the once locked double doors at the end of the hall. On the other side was a small lounge. To Ink's surprise, the new acquaintances were scattered around the room. Quiet and grave, they were keeping to themselves. You guys still here? Doors locked. Huh? The door over there. Also, one you just came through. One budge when I tried to open it. It's just like the last room. Are uh, any other exits? Do you really think we'd be here if there was a way out? So, what, we're supposed to just wait here? We're not in a position to do anything else. Well, I don't like this. I want out. I know, dear. Please have a seat for the time being. Let's try to be patient. They're all standing, and I want to stand. Beth lowered her head and grew quiet. Ink slumped into the nearest seat. From here, had a good view of the wall-mounted screen. So now what? Nobody answered. The others were either finding with detectives, the d fiddling with the devices they had been given, or staring at the wall. Ink sighed. Not a real social bunch, are they? Well, whatever, I guess we just wait for that face thing to show up. As if on cue, the monitor sparked to light. Speak of the devil. This message is set to play after a short delay. If any contestants are not present, please retrieve them. Who are you? Why do you look like that? Please note that this message is a recording and will only play once. It's advisable that you pay attention. Oh, great. Hello, contestants. Long time no see. That was a joke, of course. I saw you, but moments ago. Oh, ho, ho. I already hate this guy. Please sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Relax. I'm sure you all have questions for me. I ask you to be patient. By the end of my little speech, I imagine at least few of your concerns have been addressed. Let me start by confirming that, yes, you have been abducted. And, yes, I am the one responsible. Sorry about that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am sent. I will be as brief as I can. I have brought you here today so that you may play a game. A game of my own design. The name of the game is Exit Corners. Hey, that's the name of the game. The rules are simple. I placed you in the heart of a lovely Four Elements Hotel. As Game Master, I will do my best to keep you there. If you manage to exit the hotel, you win. If your heart stops beating, you lose. Wait, what? And if that's all it is to it, not difficult to understand, 
Allow me to be clear. In this game, you must put yourself first. Your victory or defeat is not tied to any other contestant. I have made some alternations from four elements hotel to allow more pleasant gaming experience. One such a li a amelioration is the inclusion of 16 pounds of industrial grade Semtex at the building's foundation. In 24 hours, the aforementioned explosives will detonate. This will cause the entire structure to collapse. In the event you are still in the building at the time of the collapse, you will most likely be crushed and killed, resulting in a loss. Pardon the ne negativity. But please do not misunderstand me if you want to escape through the exit, I most certainly do. That is why I've given you all Gemini, to, to give you a fighting chance. Each of you has been entrusted with an electronic device that I've dubbed Gemini. I assume you're already aware of this fact. Why Gemini, you ask? Each Gemini has a twin. Gemini they only send and receive messages from their twin. The other halves of your Gemini have been left in the care of someone you know. These people will be referred as contacts. Right now, as far as any of your concerned, your contact is the most important person in the world. While your contacts may be different, they're all equally important. I, I guarantee you'll need help to achieve victory today, so try your best to get along with them. Poor communication kills, you know. Hmm. I suppose I've rambled on long enough, haven't I? I'll leave you all alone then. The next puzzle will be available in just a moment. I've got a myriad of challenges lined up for today. I'm very fond of puzzles, as you can see. Hopefully my fondness isn't contagious. Adio, contestants, and good luck. That was French. The screen went blank. Ink had endless questions for scent, but it was clear that he wasn't coming back. What? Ink rose to his feet, shaking. A thousand thoughts raced through his head. What was the purpose of exit corners? Who was sent? Was it just bad luck that Ink wound up as contestant, or was he specifically targeted? What the fudge is going on? I don't understand any of this. The only thing Ink could do to say at the time like this, Beth looked at him with a mix of concern and pity. Ink, please calm down. Your attitude isn't helping the situation. Calm down. I've been told I'm going to be murdered. I'm allowed to get mad, dang it. Very well. Come back when you think you sold down a bit. Screw that. Were you listening to Sense Message at all? We are going to die. How can you all stand around so calmly? What the heck is wrong with you people? Ink, please. Aether. Locking eyes with Aether, Ink's anger subsided. A twinge of guilt overcame him instead. How long had it been since he'd yelled at someone like that? He lowered his head. I, yeah, uh, I didn't mean to lash out like that. I'm not mad at you or anything. Besides, keeping stress or anger ball up doesn't promote mental well-being, so it's better that you let it out now. If you want to keep yelling, I won't stop you. Just d don't direct your anger at the rest of us, okay? It's all right, I'm done freaking out. Thank you, Aether. It's a big help. Uh, Leave it to Sykes to talk me out of it. How cliche is that? I didn't mean to sound harsh. I, um, I'll admit I'm scared too. Terrified, Ian. I don't know what's going to happen to us. I think we're all a bit scared, dear. The first step to overcoming fear is to understand it. Is that something they told you in your program? No, I thought I just made that up. No, you didn't. Still, seems a bit useful of advice right now. Don't you think maybe we should take some time? Sure, we're all on the same page. Good idea, let's get, uh, well, let's go over what we know. Lisa, Ray, are you both paying attention? This is important. Yeah, I'm listening. Don't mind me. Ray, who had been leaning on the wall, silence, rejoining the others. Just he opened his mouth, a familiar noise emanated from the terminal. The contestants all turned to face. It's another puzzle. Hmm, I guess it was set to initialize shortly after a message finished playing. Before we get to that... I think we should do a little short recap. Right. Where should we start? Sent. Is that why you were so deep in thought back there? Yeah, who is he exactly? He's a big old question mark for me. I can't figure him out. He's the one that brought us here. None of us remember anything from before this morning. That makes him the only one who really knows what's going on right now. What's his motive? How was I abducted? Is this all really necessary? Why did he choose me? Why did he choose any of us? That's what concerns me the most. Your guess is good as mine, although... Although... If we could determine how or why we were chosen, we might be able to figure out who he is. What do you mean by that? If he kidnapped us at random, then Sent is probably just some kind of maniac, right? If he chose us specifically, then he must know us to some degree. He can't address us by name. It's not out of the question that he chose his victims at random. Yeah, maybe it's just some nut job. I'm not so sure about that. I'm saying that Scent knows all of us personally. 
But I don't think he would kidnap people at completely random. I don't think anyone would do that. Seriously. Do you not think that anyone could be this malicious? Aether, I know you're in a psych program. I get that. But that doesn't make you an expert on human psych. Some people are 100% batshit crazy, you know? You listen to the way Sen speaks, something's wrong with that guy. That, um, isn't what I mean. I think I know what Aether is trying to say. So much effort went into capturing us and setting anything up. I mean, there are hand scanners and these Gemini devices and like, why would someone go through all this trouble to scare the crap out of random people? And there are an easier way to do that. But like I said, some people are real messed up. And still, people like Sen usually have patterns. He might not know us all personally, but there's probably at least one thing that we all have in common. Maybe we meet a certain set of criteria. Right, I hadn't thought of that. Ink examined each of the spell contestants at the time, and he did. He knows that they're all glance around each other. He let out a weak laugh. We don't really have much in common, do we? I mean, we, we've got both men and women, students, dropouts, young people, and middle-aged persons. Ink, I'm a senior. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mince words, and our lives could be on the line. Please and thank you. A anyways, the point is that I don't see anything in common between the five of us. Something less obvious, perhaps? We all live in Bellbridge, right? I know that Aether and I do, and at the very least. Yeah, I live in Bellbridge, regrettably. I'm afraid I don't live there. I never heard of Bellbridge. Oh. Well, dang. So much for that idea. Is, is that where we are right now? I don't know. I don't remember there being a Four Elements Hotel anywhere in Bellbridge. Of course, I didn't grow up there, so I wouldn't know. I was born there, and I haven't heard of it either. What kind of place is this? It's a medium-sized college town, East Coast. East Coast, you say? Something wrong? I live out west. I wouldn't have to come a long way. But just try not to worry about it too much. There's no way to know where we are for sure. Let's forget for now, I guess. I barely know any of you, so there's no way I'm going to be able to figure that out. It ties that out all together. Anyways, if there's anything at all. Whatever his reasons for capturing us, Sen clearly isn't his real name. Come on, man. Your name is Ink. You're dating a girl named Aether. And you don't think a name like Scent could be legit? Well, uh, we're not dating. Oh, you guys came out of the same room, so I just assumed. Seemed like you knew each other. So two of your complete strangers that just happened to wake up in the same room? It's the same bed, actually. Jeez, that must have been awkward. I guess Scent thought it'd be funny. I got to hand it to him. It is kind of funny. You're sweating buckets right now, bud. Let me do you a favor and change the subject. Please? Why don't we get started on the puzzle? We can chat about scent later. Remember that we got a time limit. I'd like to add that there's still a possibility that this is just Scent's idea of a joke. It may be no explosives or time limit. Right now, we're just taking his word for it. Lisa, you've been so quiet, I almost forgot about you. That's because I've been messaging my father instead of standing around chit-chatting. I'm trying to get rescued, not play detective. If you're convinced about this whole thing is a joke, then why are you so dead set with getting rescued? And I said I thought this was a joke, did I? I just said that was a possibility. Sent has committed a crime in kidnapping us and forcing us into play this game. There's no telling how far he'll go. It's too risky to not take action, even if this is all a big prank. But why did you even suggest it? Well, I don't want to look like an idiot if this is all fake, obviously. It, do you seriously care that much what our people think of you? Unlike some people, I actually have an image to maintain. A lot of people expect great things from me, you know. Those are pretty work big words coming from someone who's probably never worked a day in their life. Guys, come on, not this again. Whatever, I'm done take talking to this thing. Lisa, you said you messaged your car. Is that making me your contact? I don't know, I guess so. What exactly did you tell him? Tell him that my kidnapper wasn't interested in a ransom. Instead, he's forcing me to play some weird games, but to kill him. You tell him that there are people who have been abducted as well? No. Oh, well, did you at least tell him that you're in a hotel called The Four Elements and that you've only got 24 hours to find a way out? No. Then what did you tell him? Tell them I told you. That's it? Yeah. So, it took you five whole minutes to type that out. I'm still texting, okay? Give me a break. You're a teenager. Shouldn't you be at the Olympic level texter? Shut up, both of you. Can we get started on this puzzle? You're wasting a lot of time asking me pointless questions. Pretty obvious she just wants to change the subject, but she's right. We need to push more. 
Perhaps we should. There's more about this game under to discuss, but we should get this puzzle out of the way first. Five pairs of warrior eyes turn to the terminal. Let's get to it then. Turn a seven and <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. Honey, Yeah, this is hard. This is not 26 at all. This is hard, guys. This is hard. Sorry, I've been talking to my kid. This is flipping hard. Okay, so I got the six. Check solution. Ah, oh, I'm so close. I just Oh, balls. Um, hard, guys. It's not easy. It's just not too bad. Yeah. Aether. You alright, Aether? You've been quiet for a while. You've had a lot on my mind, I guess. If you're not feeling well, you can always let the rest of us stay away. No, doing this puzzle will clear my head. I'll gladly help. Alright, then let me know if you can think of anything that might be useful. Okay. Oh, and ink? Yeah. Thanks for being considerate. Okay, so. Have you given the puzzle any thought, Ink? Looks to me like a simple enough task, except there seems to be something we're not quite getting. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to rearrange 7 to 26 the pieces we have here. Exactly, there must be some hint we're still missing. A double meaning, maybe? Might have been more thought. 
Ray. The episode. Ink. Ray. Any thoughts on the puzzle? Once again, this one looks more like a riddle than an actual puzzle. I don't know the answer to it. Yeah, but let's use what we learned from the first puzzle to help us. No, what have we learned from the first one? Last puzzle revolved around two negative spaces from a clue and the cross. This was actually hinting at the absence of the cross. So there's a good chance this one might revolve around negative space too, but it feels a little more complicated. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, it's a little more complicated. What does this loser chick want? I want her to talk to me. Hey, Lisa, are you gonna help us out this time? Yes. Huh, that, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Why the change of heart? I've just been told my life's on the line. So, there's that. Fair enough. Anyways, what do you think of this puzzle? I'm not quite sure yet. Give me a minute and get a look. Yeah, Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, have you had your minute? You had your minute? Any thoughts? Yeah, it's a bit like the last puzzle, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It starts at 7, clues at 26. Let's try drawing the number 26 with tiles. Uh, I can't do that. Tiles aren't the right shape. Oh, so what are we supposed to do then? That's what we're trying to figure out. I see. Hmm. So is that best you can come up with? Do you want my help or not? I'm not even sure. Anymore. No! No, I don't want your help. <sighs> oh boy. I almost get the six. I almost have the six. Hmm. Aether, you got anything? So, any ideas about the puzzle? No, really, the clues to turn six into us. No, it doesn't. What do you mean? Of course it does. Nope, it says turn six into number 27. There's a hashtag before, but not for that. Huh, I don't know. So it's probably important, so let's try to remember it. Good idea. A hashtag. Let's try to build a hashtag. I made a trapezoid thing. Probably didn't help. I don't know what's like this. Down up there, down up there. Down there, maybe a little too just like. This is not a thing. It's a thing. It's 7 into 26. There, 77. Okay, there now what? Remember that there's hashtags. But what is number? You're out of place. Yeah, what is number 26? Org! We need a velvet? Nope, sorry, I'm afraid numbers are now my strong suit. Oh, is that so? So then we look the type. I <laughs> get a lot of love, more alert, your kind of guy. That's perfectly fine, I'm not much for mathematics either. However, even though this puzzle involves numbers, I don't think it's the lay of math in any way. Feels those symbols for 7 and 26 are more important than numbers themselves. Might be right about that, let's keep that in mind. Hey, Ray. What do you want? I'm trying to concentrate. Just checking on you, I need a moment. Well, one. Read the clue again, then let's say there's anything to turn to number 26. Well, it's stylistically incorrect to write 7 as the number it says spelling it out, so there's that. You're useless, you know that? What? It's a totally valid answer. Y you know what? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say anything and move on. What jumps out at me is the number 26. You know the number 26 is commonly associated with? And you, and you should be able to get this one. I don't know. The alphabet? Right. I think we're supposed to make something that's related to the alphabet. <gasps> it's a Z! That's a friggin' C! Oh, you're screwed. You are screwed, I got this. Um, it's definitely negative space. Oh, uh, wait a minute. These are the end pieces. 
Okay, it's a Z. Number 26 is the Z. It's the... Wow, that was overly complicated. Okay, so we blocked that off. Then what if... No. Oh, that just makes a slash. I don't want a slash. Okay, if, if we get this one... It's a Z. Oh my god, Ray actually figured it out. Right, I was not going to work. Right. No. The Z would be like this. Um, wait. Wait. Um, what is this? This here. I'm so close. The negative is here. Sucker. Got it. Yes. Okay, what? Wow, that was hard. Hey, I was right. Oh, how is that the answer? The number 26 in clear refers to large Z. 26 layer of the alphabet. Turns out you can draw a Z if you craft it with that. Pretty sharp, Ink. You gave me the idea. That was harder than the last puzzle. My charge is unplugged. Congratulations, contestants. That was the correct solution. But before you proceed, I feel like it's my responsibility to issue a warning. The 24 hour time limit, while important, should not be your immediate concern. The explosives I planted are far from the most dangerous thing in the hotel. I have refrained from throwing anything harmful at you thus far, but I assure you the safety is temporary. There, I've opened the way. Welcome to the exit corners. I'm looking forward to watching you all struggle. And you will struggle. Or you could die. That guy's a real piece of work. Why does he look like he's made of paper mache? People these days are so strange. Paper mache. That's what he reminds you of. You know, that's not really him, right? It's just a computer generated image he's using to keep us from seeing his real face. Same deal with his voice, it's completely synthetic. Oh, is that so? Buying a rundown hotel, rigging these contraptions, and creating computer generated images. I'm no expert, but wouldn't these things cost a fortune? A face would be a, clean, a cinch to make, but for the rest of it, I see what you're getting at. This isn't within any normal person's price range. If Exit Corners really is the work of a single person, that person would have to be pretty well off. Ray's remark hit home, a certain redhead soon became the center of everyone's attention. Why are you all staring at me? Your father and my father and I are extremely wealthy. Did I get that right? Right, because my family is the only entity in the entire world that has any money. Oh, and that must mean I'm a deranged sociopath who locks herself in a hotel with a bunch of strangers and attempt to get herself killed. I gotta hand it to you, Ray. Your reasoning is flawless. Sarcasm won't do you any good. I'm not saying you're behind this. Frankly, I don't think you're smart enough. And to be honest, I don't think it's within one person's power to run the whole game on their own. But you're definitely hiding something. I know you are. You've been acting real suspicious all morning, especially now. What do you mean, suspicious? Don't think I hadn't noticed your hand. My eyes... I'll have you know, my eyes are still in excellent shape. Oh, what's wrong with her hand? Every now and again, she makes peculiar gestures with her right hand. Mia looks like if she's making some kind of signal. A sign language, perhaps? It's it's just a nervous tick, that's all. It's normal. My shaking in your voice is telling me otherwise. Spit it out, Lisa. There's something you're not telling us. How much more obvious can you make it? I got nothing to hide. You're just imagining things. You're a terrible liar. I'm about to convince that you're not hiding anything as I'm being a, you a slow texter. How's that so hard to believe? It's the truth. I swear in my mother's grave. I believe you. Hey, Thur. Leave her alone, you guys. She isn't gonna tell us anything, so stop pressing her. Even when she's clearly hiding something? 
Maybe she's hiding something? Isn't necessarily related to exit corners, though, is it? She's allowed some privacy, isn't she? It'd be different if you had proof that Lisa was up to something, but you don't. Know, you're looking for someone to blame. Uh, I guess so. Hang it, Aether. You're lucky your ink turns to mush whenever you open your mouth. But, hey, now, she's right, you know. We're, we're sort of picking on Lisa for no good reason. Wh whatever, I'm done with you, chump. Well, that was rough. <laughs> well, loser. Should we give Ray a moment? No, we have... We ought to follow him. The only thing we're liberally doing is continue playing Exit Corners. You know, more often I hear Exit Corners, the stranger sounds. What's it supposed to mean? Wish I could answer that. I wish I could answer anything. Why Why were we brought here? Who was sent? And what is Exit Corners? End of chapters. That's a nice place to end it today, guys. This was Exit Corners. I'm Eric, and I'll see you in the next episode.